Street Boys Show, episode numero 90 y uno, 91 of y'all, man. As usual, boy Brandon Keith, aka the Range Brother, 2K Jones, Young Baller, whatever you want to call me. The man to my left. It's boy Maj Man and Menace, and Girl Mouth Like a Dennis. Y'all know how we rocking. You got your boy D Johnson. Missed last week on some BS, but you know, we back in, you know what I'm saying? DJ Smooth, the man with the money, man. Y'all know what it is. Man, you already know who it is. The CEO of the Prez, Rob the God, Rob Philosophies, whatever you want to call me, baby. Let's get it. Man, Patreon. Discord. Discord going up every single week. Shout out to everyone that's joining the Patreon. Shout out to everyone that's in the Discord. Make sure they're getting that Discord too. Some odds being there streaming. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. make my return to streaming streets too. You know what I'm saying? One of these days. I'm coming soon. One these coming soon. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put my word to it. Put my mouth to it, man. Hopefully it manifests. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing that. Anyways, Patreon. You already know. Three hour plus long podcast. Extra Good segments sure. every single week. Live streams. Good Shout out to all the people that's in the Patreon. Who gonna be next? Y'all, man. Ultimate ultimatums. It's oh. been a while. It has. It's been a while since I've done one. It has. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm back. I'm back to the back to these streets, man. Let's get it. Lord so you already know. Would you rather cheat on your woman or bitch slap your mama? Ooh. Cheat on my woman. <sighs> cheat on my woman. And you cannot let them know why you are doing these such things. Cheat on my woman. Love of your life. Cheat on my woman. The love of my life. Love of your life. Oh, I got a pimp slap my mama. Backhand, Ooh, flower. You know what I'm saying? Mama over there. Mama over there passing you the rolls during dinner time. Roll your ass, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm, you boy. feel me? And I can't let them know? Nah, man. I'm going to have to cheat on my girl, man. <sighs> Do you think realize the things that will arise? There's two buts. If you hit your mama? The domino effect. For real. Yeah. Well, I got people from coming out of state coming to kill me. Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna have to cheat on my lead for that one. I'm gonna have to cheat on my lead. <laughs> nigga to had to whisper that. Hey, I'm gonna have to cheat on my lead for that one. <clears throat> mm. Wow. Uh -huh. You can't let like I said, you can't let them know. I'm aware. Mm -hmm. what, what, mm -hmm. What's your answer? Mm. You about to say some bullshit. I swear to God. <laughs> You better start playing Eminem and song, man. I'm sorry, mama. Hey, no <laughs> way. I was the baby. I man, didn't man. mean I hurt you. Brandon. The love of my life, though. Hey, I'm Lo sorry, Brandon. my brother. Low key. My, my mama watched the show, too. So. Right, your mama, mama too sweet. She too too much for you. She, I think she'll understand. <clears throat> uh, no, she won't, because I can't tell her. Right, she can't. You, she not going to know. But I feel like my mama will forgive me. Mm. Girl, she can just go, and you might never see her again. Your, your, mama, your mama go like, she's going to be more Or your climb. girl can't forgive you. Can my mama uh, get her lips you, back? you broke the loyalty. Yeah. You Isn't that the... not loyalty with your mom? Well, yes, but like, I feel like your mama is more though. inclined to forgive you. Yeah. It's different. Almost though. like she got to, damn near. Yeah. I'll give you, you that. Know, it's like an unconditional love for her son. You know what I'm saying? You know? I don't know. That's kind of tough if you don't put your hands on him. Yeah. Well, I mean, my mama just one, one, one smack. Like just, yeah. It's not It's not repeated, nah, bitch. Slap just one bitch slap. But a pimp slap though? Like, for real. You put, yeah. you, you, put, you put some effort into that. Oh, yeah. Right. You know Can what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. God damn. Oh, this is evil. Family yeah. dinner, too. Oh, my God. Ooh, yeah. Come yeah. on now. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I ain't going to change my answer. I'm sorry, man. Bars. Oh, fuck. I'm still getting used to it. That ain't yes. bars, man. That ain't bars. It's I not care. bars. It's a terrible predicament either way. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for that. You do clear that up. Come on. But that's why I think it's a good question, though. Yeah, but you were that's seeming evil. real too one sided. Nah, man. You can't miss out on the love of your life, though, man. Like I'm saying, love of your life. You ain't never going to find no one like this again. Yeah, man. Ain't we the same motherfuckers that preach is plenty of fish in the sea? Yeah, it's plenty of fish in the sea, but that doesn't mean that the bad fish were the love of your life. But you got the fish, but it's though, all right? right. The but fish, the golden fish. You got the fish. Not a goldfish, the golden fish. Right. right. Man, no, I feel like the there's more than shit. one golden fish. What you about? Nah. I feel like there could be more than one <laughs> golden bronze, fish. There's some bronze and silver fish <laughs> oh, out there. Oh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, so you're telling me that you believe, you are a strict believer that there is only one golden fish out of there. I think there's one, I think well, there's like one a... lady out there that's a perfect match for me. Only one? Yeah. Right. Well, well I'm my. What's left? Like, you gonna find that other motherfucker again? Ain't fair, but it's still seven billion of these motherfuckers. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean, but we only exposed to like maybe a yeah. hundred thousand. It's bars. It's bars. It's bars. 
do the right thing. Bitch, slap your mama. That, that ain't the right okay. thing. That's so crazy. Okay. Okay. Such a crazy thing. I don't know about that, that one. Do the right I thing. Well. don't know about that one. That's a ridiculous. crazy sequence of words, bro. Like, I don't, don't do the right thing. <laughs> That's doing the right thing, oh, I guess. Oh, man. Mama, I'm sorry. Oh, it is man. like, for me, if I were to hit my mama, I don't know if I would live. Yeah. Yeah. I would be putting my life in danger. I would definitely be putting my life in danger. I would be putting my life in danger, but I would... It just wouldn't be the same after you, like you look at your mama. No, no, yeah. I'm in danger. Like, after you bitch slap your mama. With Millhouse on the damn school bus. I'm well, in danger. Y'all like, got a thing. What about y'all seen Friday? Remember he slapped his mama. You know the barbecue taste. Yeah, make he did. Slap your mama. He did. He did that. And she was okay. Come here, mama. Bro, she was mentally losing it already. She was be in the hospital. She knew enough to know. Like it wasn't <laughs> she, she, she knew enough to know that she, she got slapped the shit out of her son. She she <laughs> like what? She even responded weird. Hey, mama, what are you talking, are you talking about? Boom! I'm like, what the hell? She knew she got Man, slapped. Get out of here. Though. She knew. Yeah, she knew she got slapped. She and then on top of that, you probably okay. fucked it up even worse for. Her. <laughs> yeah, I get a little PTSD. <laughs> she probably fucked up even more. Her brain still scrambling to this day. <laughs> 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 I ain't no idea. I was looking at the Rob is evil, man. Rob is evil, man. man. Do the right thing. That ain't the right thing. Stop yeah. saying that. To treat a woman, that's the right thing. That's that ain't the right thing either. It's the lesser of two evils, though. I it disagree. Is For me, well, I'm going well, to die. Okay. I'm it going might, to die. It might be the lesser of the two evils. It might be. As a matter of fact, I will go and I will agree. But your woman can leave you. She more inclined to leave you and never see your ass again. Your mama, like, she kind of, she stuck with me. But for me, it's a matter of life and death. Man. You're not gonna die. My father, my father will literally end my life. He will not literally end your life. Shit. He might beat the shit out. Of I'm you. willing to bet on that. I'm willing to bet money on that. Slapping my mama hard like that. Oh yeah. Intentionally, yeah. pimp slap like. You can't let him know why you did. You know why you did it either. Yeah, they coming for your ass, man. Boy, no I got though. uncles that would try to come get me. My grandma would. Ass in, she, huh? My grandma would fix all of her body parts to come you kill can still me. Apologize. The uh, fuck is that go do? I don't think an apology. I'm sorry, Mama. I slapped the hell out of you. I I don't know what provoked me. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. You can so, please, you can please. Psycho. I'm not okay. Oh, yeah. Bro, you please, can please psycho. Yeah. Oh, bro. Something's wrong with me. Oh, I'm on my no damn dark fool. Spot of my she life. know I ain't right. crazy. Something's going on, man. I'm on no I ain't psycho. She ain't falling for that shit. And even if I was, Blame she was still demon. she was still trying to reprimand my ass. Uh, what if, Blame what it if, on the demon. So instead of whooping your ass, they try to exercise. You. What if with the woman that you have to cheat on your woman with, she dirty? That work. You what don't know she's dirty. Like you don't know what the hell she got, but you know you know it's a risk. Wait, mm. wait, like the girl that you cheating on your girl with? You got like STDs. you look like you See, might now have. Now he's putting more parameters. You look like you might have. Now he's putting like, parameters. Come on, bro. He just so he just do whatever he can. He do whatever he can. So I go to the well, other side. Well, it's too easy for y'all. So would you rather you know cheat on your woman with too a dirty for woman? It's too easy for you too. With a dirty woman. It's too easy for you too. Or slap your mama. Oh, in that case, I'm going to have to just slap my mama. Yeah, if that's the case, I'm going to slap the hell out of my mama. So you rather die? They have an STD? What if it's not? What if it's not AIDS yes, or syphilis? Yes, because some well, STDs can well, kill you. Yes. Some well, STDs can kill you. What, what if it's not? What if it's not AIDS or syphilis? What if it's just like I don't know, herpes, herp dirt, herpes? Everyone's gonna get herpes one day. What? You might as well just get it. You know, you get a little earlier. So were you planning on getting when you get I, yours? I, I didn't. I didn't um, say I'm planning on Lord, it. Lord, can we? I'm why do we to always have this conversation whether one is worse or better or not? It's always we know why. Him. It's him. Mean, it's him. It's we only have this conversation because it's him. That's the only reason we talk about this shit. Yeah, nigga, why you doing to me like that? Because you want to this island like he that. Asked, you know, he, he adds... You got some dogs, man. Them dogs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> dogs will leave you. He adds, like, these sick-ass parameters to these <laughs> questions, man. I didn't say she definitely had AIDS or syphilis. I'm just saying... <laughs> she has a chance. You look... <laughs> you know she's a street veteran. Oh, my God. Ooh, street veteran. Speaking of street veterans in <laughs> unfortunate <laughs> scenarios... I guess over the past week, a couple had went to a, correct me if I'm wrong, it's an Omele, Omele, yeah, Omele, yeah, Omele yeah, yeah. concert. I have no idea who that is, but and it's, yeah. it's a West Some African, West, West African uh, oh, artist, okay. I believe. Right. Something like okay, that. I thought he was like an R&B artist. And okay. he uh, pulled the nusher and decided to take another man's lady on stage and bump and grind, yeah. and I mean bump and grind. He might as well have just Pulled his belt off in the way they were just on stage freaking it. Yep. And yep. um, I guess everyone was, you know, on her ass, scrutinizing uh, already. Mm. Kai Sinat had went out, reached out to this woman, and she said that she wanted uh compensation 
to being on stream with him. Now, I can understand the argument that um he'd just have him on there, have her on there just to bash her. I can understand that. Wait. I thought he was flying the dude out. Well, let him finish. Let, let, me, finish. Finish. let, let me finish. No. So after reading this, Kai say, you know, never mind, this bitch is crazy. She, <laughs> wants, she wants some money to be on my stream. It's crazy. Smart man. So he went and invited the man. Ah, uh, got you. Okay. W play. W play. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. W play. Mm-hmm. You know, had a whole little stream uh 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 date e date thing on live and everything. And even then he gave him 20k after the interaction. That nigga won. Now, everyone is angry at this. They are livid. Mm-hmm. So, she couldn't get no money, but the man can get the money. First of all, last time I checked, she wasn't the fucking victim. Thank you! Anyways, yeah, I yeah. can also understand the fact that y'all don't like that. He probably was going to bash her. Well, nigga, duh. Yeah. Like, would, why are we biggest would, like she was a hero? Right? She didn't do anything good. You gonna do praise her? She did the very horse thing. I like that. That was great. Yeah, very, very, great word choice. Great word <laughs> choice. That was fantastic. <laughs> uh, that nah, diction was call magnificent, it bro. That was crazy. You gotta, yes. You very gotta, horse you gotta call it for what it is. Bro. Man, it, and like I, she put out a video I saw basically saying how she's receiving death threats and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that's yeah. that, that kind of you know, what the... I ain't saying she deserves it. I ain't saying that. But I'm saying no. that's what the territory. Yeah, it comes with the territory. Yeah, yeah. yeah it does. You, got, you literally got... You went viral, and then you put yourself out there, like, right? You trying to get famous off of off of being being a whore. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, maybe you're not a whore, but little, that was a very horrid thing to do. Little do she know, even if she just went on stream without the money, bitch, you probably would have got some clout for that. No, definitely, definitely. You definitely yes. got bro, some clout I was for breaking that. down Only fans, bro. Oh, bro. Yeah, that, yeah. You could have slept with yeah. the man you was on stage with, bitch. You just lost your chance. <laughs> nah, facts. She I'm breaking that down. Well. I'm breaking that down at work. Not only he got money. At E date for free. You got to see Kai Sinat, who's one of the big streamers out there. And this man just got hella clout. All you got to do is make Instagram, TikTok, boom. He's just blown up. She yes. would be blown up, but mm. I don't know how I don't know how long it would last. Not, I don't oh, think no. I, I don't think it would be. Might got to be innovative though. He has, oh, to be, yeah, yeah, he has to but he has to, he has to be entertaining though. No, he does. Yes, no, nah, I think it was just said and done. I think it would blow up just oh, you know what? Not oh, very certain, long. Well, like I don't think his page already, will blow up. He'd he have a video has, that blows up. He already has. He already has a bunch of shit though. He has Instagram. He has TikTok and everything. Mm-hmm. His socials would definitely go get followed, but he wouldn't retain any of that. Well, that's why I'm it. saying he would have to be innovative. He would have to be, you know, progressive. He would he have, have to understand that. Yeah, he had to ride that wave. Mm-hmm. If he was smart, he would ride the hell out of that wave. What's he gonna do? With and the wave? now he's gonna be cool with Kai Sinat. so he well, can ask for help. Uh, maybe you think he would ask for help? I would. Well, I'm saying he might be cool. What do you mean he can't? He can't. He well, can maybe not cool, hell, but cool enough to where you could ask him some. You got to think about it. It would be it would be the come up story. Yeah, it would be the yeah, come up story. Nah, facts you know, though. Having him on the having him on the show. Getting done dirty. And he was like, man, you got did dirty. Now I'm bringing you up. Now Kaiser Nat looked like the savior. Come on, man. Help this nigga come, come from on. the dirt after he just got did mm-hmm. dirty. And come on, man. Like, oh, Kai, you didn't go. You really like that, right? Come mm. on. Gotta get his res up, though. You can't, like... I'm talking 20 v one. Oh, was he folding? I didn't watch it. No, I, I didn't watch it. I didn't know that it took place uh, yet. Uh, I, mean, I don't know if it took place I, either. I'm sure he was folding gang a lot. Yeah. You know, well, I don't think it happened. <laughs> the man I don't still, think it happened. The man gotta still be in his feelings after such a I don't think it happened. I don't think it happened. I thought I'd seen people saying he He did. I saw it on TikTok. Oh, shit. I thought it happened already? Yeah. Okay. I thought he was gonna do like a whole 20 versus 1, which they need to stop doing. He need Yeah, they need to stop doing those, but he need to be on one. He, you know, the guy that like just took on, you know, you know, get on the As the one, though. Them ladies be up there embarrassing themselves. They, they do. do. Mm-hmm. But that's why I, I kind of want to get up there and just, like, just troll and shit. Okay. You see what vice versa when, when the dudes go up there? It just feels, like, very simpish. Mm-hmm. It is. You're mm-hmm. all it fighting is. for the love one. Like, come on. You niggas is weird. It's strange. <laughs> it's just a strange. <laughs> strange weird. Weird. That's why I could never do, like, an E-Day. I'd have to host it. Okay, I'll let y'all niggas go. Um, I think bros. I could do an e-date. I think I could do an e-date. This is different. It. It's not like as I do it for the experience. You know, I do it for the experience. We should host one in the Discord. Yeah, yeah we e-date. We e-date coming soon. What the e-girls at? Yeah, this one e-girls hit the DM. E-date coming soon. Brandon Keith J on the IG in the description. You know, hit me up. Um, 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 but just know I I am not I am not a single man. So leave me alone. 
but we want to host some shit. That you know what I'm saying? For the fellas out here that, you know what I'm saying, they're single and they, they ready to mingle, get some shit going. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, well, sir. I want to do that. I don't know if that's outdated yet, but that'll be fun to do. <laughs> Speaking of yeah. being single and, and ready to mingle, for all my folks out here looking for some love, man, I want y'all to really stop trying to look at the world through these rose tinted glasses. And I know you hear me say this phrase all the time. It's something very reoccurring. But I saw a quote the other day, and it really just made me think. It says, when people fall in love with someone's flowers, but not their roots, they don't know what to do when autumn comes. Ooh, that's bars. bars. That's fucking bars. And for those of you that do not understand what that means, is you're falling in love with the outside traits. You're falling in love with the beauty. You're falling in love with the honeymoon phase. But you're not falling in love with the deeper qualities and the emotional availability mm -hmm. and, and everything that comes with being in a relationship and mm -hmm. with a person. So you have no stability in your relationship and you got to dig deeper. Man. Mm. God. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it, Rob. Ooh. Hit him with another one. Ooh, hit him with hell. another one. It's Ooh. hot in hell. Ooh. Ooh. Good Lord, have oh, mercy. Man. Oh, man. Did y'all have anything to add to that? Did y'all have anything to add to that, man? Yeah, I do, actually. Um, I'm a, I've always been a firm believer that women should date their best friends. Mm -hmm. The ones that, you know, clearly are attracted to each other. You know those weird relationships where y'all yeah. best friends and... Mm -hmm. Best friends. Friend, for real. Like, but... Y'all ain't doing nothing yet because uh -huh. y'all on some weird shit at the time. Yeah. A lot of motherfuckers keep doing that and then they find dudes and then the dudes be shitty and then they be mad as hell. Why well, I can't find a good man? Well, the good man is sitting in your lap. You know what I like to say, DJ? I like to tell niggas sometimes. I even told my nephew this a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious. I even told my nephew this a couple so times, <laughs> <laughs> let, 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 let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. Tuck your cape until you find the lowest lane. Oh, now for the niggas who don't understand <laughs> that's, that's clear If you are a comic geek Then you know Lois Lane Was not always just a damsel in distress She was in that danger She was out there doing the news reports and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Superman had to keep telling her Stay out about that danger She didn't give a fuck She was in them streets mm -hmm. Tuck your cape until you find you a Lois Lane my brother Ooh, Good lord have mercy business. One more time for another ball. Yeah. Wow Hey. Oh, that just went off. Ah, for real. Damn. Good Damn. Lord. Yeah, trying to tell y'all niggas, y'all all trying to date motherfuckers just what they look like, blah, blah, mm -hmm. whatever's on the surface level. She got that ass on her. She got them tatas. I understand you love them. I understand. I love them too. Yeah, me too. Lord Jeez. knows. Lord, Lord knows them goddamn pillows. Shit. <laughs> man. What the hell? But there's more to life. There's more to life, life, man. Bro. Some of y'all go for y'all. You might get lucky, you might get that eight, you might get that nine, but what's like they're gonna waste your time? Facts. Mm. Get you that six. That's who you wanna be with. So that mm. seven gonna teach your ass a lesson. Mm. Boss. Mm. Man. Yeah. Boss. <laughs> Boss. That's hard right there. Boss. Yes, for sure, for sure. I like that, Robert. I like mm -hmm. that, Robert. Yeah, of course. Something quick for y'all, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, DJ, what you got? What's this, what's the thing about Mickey D's? Oh, the hell you talking man, about? Man, you know, we go to work. Now, on break, me and my homies, we go out. These nasty motherfuckers want to go to goddamn McDonald's and shit. And, you know, I don't been arguing with them for years, so I finally just let it go. You know, I'm fine, we can go. Pulling the drive through, you know, we got the little menu on the thing. These motherfuckers added another two patties to the Big Mac sandwich. Oh, my God. Are you some fat ass niggas? <laughs> now, oh, my if you, <laughs> if you cool with me and we hang out and shit, if you eat that shit around me, that would be the last time you. That's the you last time. Nasty you nigga. That's the last goddamn nigga. You a nasty nigga. You don't give a damn about your well being. Ain't no way in hell, nigga. Mm -hmm. That's five patties bro, in between come on. two buns. Come what on. What is wrong with you niggas? Bro? Come on, man. What is wrong with and you? And me and Jones, we worked at you know McDonald's, right? So yeah. we know we understand how the Big Mac is made. Yeah. All that nasty ass shit they put on it. Yeah. <laughs> you know and. Just thinking about, you know, because when I saw it, I'm like, damn, mm -hmm. what would this would have been like if I was still at McDonald's? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Motherfucker grabbing four patties for the same goddamn burger. That's disgusting. You got to get help. <laughs> you got to get help. You got to get help. You got to get help. No, oh, his, that nigga's stomach need examination. But I got to get pumped. That motherfucker got to get pumped. Uh, extra like, Big Mac. Come on, man. Yeah, y'all niggas crazy. Bro, five patties and two How much mystery meat? 
But like, you if you if you if you already <laughs> have, have your eating you, Big Macs, you know a Big Mac already sits like this exactly. Yeah, that's you see the big ass box. box. Five, five, the box is big bro, as hell. Come on, already bro. a triple decker, including that bun. <laughs> Thank bro, you, little bun. Bro, like seriously, motherfucker, put that on the goddamn bro. And you know me, I'm an investor, and I invest in McDonald's, and I know you nasty motherfuckers gonna buy it. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Nasty. So yeah, so I'm like, you know, one side I'm like, man, this is great for money. The other side I'm like. You niggas gonna die. <laughs> Fact. Like I said, nah, I if, if we cool niggas. and we hanging out, and you, you know, we just somehow, God forbid, somehow get get to McDonald's, and you order yeah, that bullshit, yeah, that would be the last bro. time we looking. Yeah, man. I don't know. And you know, some people just don't have no self control, so they're gonna be buying that motherfucker every day or yeah. every other day, eating fucking. Oh, I don't even. You're gonna be sweating Big Mac sauce. That's disgusting. Come on, man. Come on now, man. I remember working at McDonald's, cleaning that goddamn Big Mac container with a Big Mac sauce. Oh my goodness, some of the most foul, foul shit. Foul, man. foul motherfucking fumes. You have <laughs> graced my nose, bro. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Like someone that oh water touched God. that Big Mac sauce, like, I don't know. The chemicals just started doing some shit, and then, my God. My God. <laughs> I'm like, just looking hard enough. At what point order? do we just say, nah, we shouldn't do that? But <laughs> like, I mean, I actually worked at McDonald's for damn near a year, but I, I, I still pride myself on this. I never ate one of them burgers. Now, DJ, different. That nigga's been like, hey, Brandon. Throw some bacon on there. Throw some bacon on there. Oh, that's that quarter okay. pounder. Okay. That quarter pounder. That back quarter pounder. When I was, but, back when I was eating that shit, I ain't gonna lie. That, that shit definitely used to hit. Oh, bro. But, shit. But that QP. Shit. Oh, yeah. 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 That, that shit was a quarter shit. pounder. You used to get that regular cheeseburger or some shit. Yeah, but, that, but then they had brought some new quarter pounder things, so I switched. Oh, the fresh meat? Yeah. yeah. When they did the and fresh meat. And they were doing like a barbecue thing or some shit like that. I had, oh, I, I do had, remember that. I, mean, I had many cooking that motherfucker up all the goddamn time. Shout out to him. I had the sweet barbecue Shout sauce on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, like yeah, I remember yeah. that. Fried onions that. and shit. But yeah, y'all yeah. the McDonald's motherfuckers weird. I, some things I just don't understand, man. Why you like that fake ass American cheese, aka American sneeze? <laughs> why do y'all niggas like that dirty ass McRib, aka the McFib? McFib. I don't that understand shit, why y'all niggas like that. Nah, <laughs> no, that McRib, <laughs> it had a fucking smell on that, that motherfucker. That motherfucker, oh that twang. You pull that little tub out. It's just sitting in the it's muffin. Boom. Like that shit stinks. That barbecue sauce. <laughs> like, that shit stinks. I remember stink, having to door dash that Man, shit. That I shit would stinks. rather have that fucking McFib we had in high school than the actual McRib. I honestly agree. That's bars. That's bars. You. I think that's bars. I honestly agree with you. That, I, that's there's bad, a better chance yeah. it was preserved better. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Cause y'all don't y'all don't know me and Brandon was back there like he oh, he I'll works fast there. food yeah so, I do so hey, we we know what, I work at Wendy's nigga. like we know what's back there so we know how it's being preserved we know how it's being prepared we know how it's being sitting we know how y'all every kitchen got that dirty ass nigga. yes oh yeah for sure yes a trifling no ass motherfucker yeah. I'm like cross contaminating like a bro, motherfucker if Ecolab was in this bitch oh they'd have your ass in chains we had this oh. one Mexican dude. <laughs> Critical, critical. They'd have, they'd have critical. your ass in chains. Like, yeah. I was like, wow. When when we when me and DJ used to work at uh McDonald's, man, we had this old, this old Mexican dude, bro. And he called his ass Nacho. <laughs> and I was like, what with a name of, like that, he can't be trusting himself. I'm like, I'm like, what type of fucking shit is that? <laughs> you just like mind. these white people call you Nacho, you just okay with it? That's like them walk around calling me chicken leg or some facts. shit. I'm no, just that's like, that's, that's okay. Facts. Like, how hey, much shit is that? You are Mr. Chicken. Nah, no, you can't call me that. <laughs> nah, nah. You can't call me that though. It may even yeah, if it's, even if even if it's true, tracks. I'm on the Popeyes newsletter. I know I'm a nigga, <laughs> but like, like, come on, I like I that. Y'all gotta call me that. I like that <laughs> Popeyes newsletter. I like that. That's good. That's I, good. It's a real thing. You think I'm joking? It's a real thing, oh nigga. God. Yes, I'm on the Popeyes newsletter. Oh, you crazy. <laughs> Well, nigga, fuck crazy. you. <laughs> you hold on yourself. Nigga, yeah. I got the app. I got the app. You got the app. It asks you if you want to sign up for the newsletter when you when they got some new shit. That's I say yes. Yeah, you're a fat ass. No, if you were smart, you try to write for it. Mm. Mm. I don't really like writing like that. We, 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 but we, you got AI now. Shit, nigga. Chat BT. Mm -hmm. It's your yeah, name, but. Chat BT. Get a little bread. Lars. I'm mad at that. Hustling. Like the mentality. You know what I'm saying? But man, y'all. I got a motherfucking bone to pick, man. I got a bone to pick, y'all. <sighs> if you drive an all black Chevy Tahoe or Ford Explorer, you are indeed a bitch. I agree. <laughs> ass I nigga. wholeheartedly okay. agree. And, <laughs> ass and, nigga. and you need agree. you need to die today. You can't die today. Try again tomorrow, goddamn. Because I mean, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Mm -hmm. 
you just like scaring niggas. That's yeah. facts. That's a rather you strange just like car. scaring niggas. Out of every fucking vehicle you can have, you can exactly. get yourself a Malibu, get yourself a motherfucking Camry, mm-hmm. you can get yourself a motherfucking Civic. Mm-hmm. The, the, the show go Nissan Row, don't matter anything. You decide to get the same shit that them motherfucking cops is going. Hey, hey, you niggas hey, is strange. Hey, hey. Facts in the oh, chat. Oh yes, if you Facts drive in all white, if ones, you drive an all black Chevy Tahoe or Ford Explorer or all white one, you are indeed a bitch ass nigga. Nah. And you need to die today. You can't die today. Try again tomorrow. I how I would highly advise it. Mm-hmm. I would highly advise. See, I watch a lot of TV, city, right? So. I watch a lot of cartel shows. So yes. when I see black Tahoes, it's like a double whammy. I don't know, it's police. Are you right. behind me to come snatch me up? Because I did some shit I didn't know I did. Yeah. Like, y'all don't Ridiculous. know what's going on, Ridiculous. man. I can't be mad at that. And then you got them bright-ass LEDs. Like, you just trying to scare niggas. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, really, I truthfully believe that these people, you got to be racist. <laughs> you got to be racist. You got to not like minorities. There's no way. You just enjoy you it. You low-key like scared of them, but this is the only time where you feel powerful. I'm going to oh get in this God. goddamn Ford Explorer and, and flash my LED lights on the back of niggas. This <laughs> didn't... <laughs> I ass, I'm damn near finna throw in my bone to pick Cause my mind damn near slid in with that one Go ahead Speaking <clears throat> of the racist man I'm not even mad at y'all racist no more That's not That's not even the point That's not even the point no more to me What's up? My point is Y'all put up The confederate flag mm-hmm. The nazi flag Oh mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And now I forgot what's the third one I forgot what the third yeah, one I is can't the third one They now. got another flag uh, They just like putting up um, what is with you niggas in allegiance to losers? Like, yeah. seri- like seriously, you have an seriously, unnatural allegiance con- to losers. <laughs> <laughs> unnatural <laughs> allegiance to losers. This is uncanny. Like, That's boring. the Confederate. First of all, let's stop beating around the bush. It's my heritage. What was your heritage protecting? Okay, mm-hmm. so they lost. Why yeah. are you still holding their flag up and proud of it? That's like being a that's like being a motherfucking Charlotte Hornets fan. Oh my god! Or modern Jesus. day Bulls over the past t- t- decade. <laughs> it's over. Your time. Tell me it's over. Oh damn, went. bro, bro. You got clipped that one. That was like, that was a strong ass. Like, it's over. <laughs> like, like damn. That was a strong you, yeah, ass. It's over. Twenty twenty four and you a Bulls fan? Y'all been trash. But god, Jesus. without Jordan, y'all been nothing. Damn. Man. Give it up. Well, you was a rose fan. They hoping L. at some point well, that's all they had. That's all they had. That's ridiculous. Well, they did. They took another L. They, they traded them, and they've been buns mediocre ever since. And that's just a fact. That's just a it's fact. Just, that I don't. Matter. I just don't get it, bro. Y'all take y'all. There's yeah, so many L's y'all true. took, and y'all just repping well, it. Well, maybe they just like choosing the underdog. Mm. Yeah, but the underdog really wins unless you like Eli Manning or some shit. Well, some people just <laughs> no matter what they stick with the underdog. No matter what they lose, damn pretty yeah, much every let's time. Keep, let's they <laughs> Let's cheer for a team that gets the ass all So, so if you're on the betting site, what's their spread? That shit. one, oh, your shit's plus motherfucking 100,000. <laughs> Yo, folks, turn a one into two mil. <laughs> <laughs> nigga turn on a penny to two million dollars. <laughs> that's, that's what that nigga's trying to do. Yeah, uh, that's fact. That's a good one. They, 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 they got they, shame kinks. That's crazy. Shame kink is, in, is insane. Yeah, Maybe. Quite <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. What's going on with... uh? Actually, I do know what's going on with this, but Samaj. Yeah. Speaking uh, of I, I, weird kinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> facts. Yeah. That was a good one. Jeez. Very good one. That was a good one. Y'all know. Yeah, y'all know about that boy Diddy, man. Oh, Guilty. Wait, always something with Diddy. Now, now, for the people who pay attention to the show, y'all know how I said already that um we were just waiting for the male victims. And well, yet again, I'm always <laughs> correct with this nigga. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, I, it's to the point like I'm not even proud of it. It's just like, damn, nigga, I need to just shut the hell up because this is gonna, like, it's gonna happen. So, <clears throat> a man came forward and said that while working amongst Diddy, <clears throat> he used to do heinous sexual harassment acts and oh my God. little essays in there. Uh, he said he was, he, at first, he was, I had to watch his man Diddy butt naked all the time, have conversations while he was doing it, things like such things like that. Uh, you can't make this up. You can't make um, this up. Butt naked for what? He would he would send his executives <laughs> to uh to grab a handful. I don't need to explain more. <laughs> that's a freaky nigga. That's, nah, that's crazy. Nigga. Um, yeah, a lot of freaky things. This is this is a freaky ass nigga, man. Uh, like, yeah, I just can't. I just hate being right. I just hate being. It's right. kind of <laughs> yeah. I think about like how scary this is though, because they always say like money makes you more of who you actually are. So mm. Diddy was always a freak. 
Well, and 50 man, told you about them Harlem niggas. And this man found a way to make so much money to where he could be butt naked. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, one of his fucking clients <laughs> SAs another individual. They got to get his ass. They got to get him. He's a danger. Like imagine you walk in. This motherfucker's like, dangerous. Imagine you walk in thinking like, my life about to change, man. I've been rapping for niggas for, for the past five years. My finally getting my big break. Break, for real. You walk in niggas sitting in there booty, ball ass, butt ass naked. Just, just motherfucking thing just hanging. And they, this is part of the deal. Jeez, this is part of the deal. Oh, grab a handful. This is part of the deal, nigga. That's what you got to do. You know what? I was just watching that clip and you are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That clip where you asked, would you rather sign a record deal to P. Diddy or um, go oh, homeless? That nigga likes to touch butts. Yeah, that nigga said, um, that nigga likes to touch butts. Uh, I'm going homeless. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact, bro. Uh, like, I, you know, the, after seeing all of this, I'm going homeless. Yeah, well, bro. I, it took you this long? Well, you knew he was touching. You, you knew he was butt touching. Well, I didn't think it was that touching. serious. No, what do you mean? Oh, what's yeah, not oh, serious? Oh, oh, well, exactly. wait, 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 what is wait, not wait, serious okay, butt so, touching? So, 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 so. <laughs> what is what is not serious <laughs> unconsented <laughs> butt touching? What is unserious butt? Touching? That sounds like all <laughs> <laughs> serious predicament every time. Let me let me change my wording. That's bad wording. That's bad wording. <laughs> That's terrible. Un un unserious was the wrong word. It what, is, you only touched the bus a couple times. Like okay, I just you, you thought probably don't touch too many. I could maneuver days. around it. <laughs> so I ain't just no maneuver. You go get that. It sounds like you ain't no maneuver. If you win, you win. God damn it, like. It's inevitable. Like, this is terrible. This is awful. This is god awful. And me, knowing the type of man that I am, oh my god. like, what's that saying? Uh, them old heads, you, it's going to be some furniture moving in this place. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. going to be some furniture moving. It's going to be some furniture Well, well, I mean, I either way, it's going to be some furniture moving. Yeah, definitely. Oh my god. I want to spit. Wow. 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 Hit the bars. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That's a wild one. That's bars. Either you gonna be moving it or he gonna I think about that at all. I have a little concern I'm, with this I'm, situation though, because you know how the black community is and about homosexuality. Mm -hmm. and I want to remind everybody: let's not prosecute this man because he likes to dabble and dibble dabble in yeah, butt. God definitely likes guys, but that's not the reason why. <laughs> that is yeah, not the reason right, we right, need to be right. reprimanding this man. Now he has also have multiple, multiple. Multiple case <laughs> on women. Let's not forget that now. Right. Black community. You don't discriminate. Don't discriminate <laughs> you don't at all. Fuck. He at all. So for the black so community, let's it. scrutinize this man because he's a freak and not because he like boys. Right, freak right. Here, this guy definitely likes guys, but that's not the reason why. Bars. <laughs> yes, B. Album comes soon. Come on, man. Yeah, that's ridiculous, man. I, yeah, he okay, discriminate. we gotta booty, get it. He said booty get it. is booty. It's time. It's time. You just take his ass out. Like we have I've been to. saying that. It is, it's time. Yeah, y'all talking like y'all finna snipe this. Thing. No, I ain't gonna do it. No, someone. I should think do somebody it. should oh go. God. I think somebody should go on the cover and get him on a wire. DJ, go ahead and do that. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not butters. Fuck you, out. Y'all not gonna do me like they do butters. No, in it's South not Park. worth that. No. Hell he no. say, oh, you got me? We're going to clap them cheeks while we at it, boy. No. Nah. I'll touch you on that tape. Nah. He said, right, they already got me. Nope. Probably. Oh, but okay. Yeah. We're going to put a wire on you, DJ. No, no, the hell you All you're going to hear is a round of applause on the goddamn audio tape. Maybe. Jesus Christ. A round of applause is crazy. It's insane. Hell. Quite insane. That that's, is quite but like, insane. That's so clever, though. That's clever. It's, I, <laughs> ah, that's clever, though. That's clever. That nigga on one thing. Bro says, snipe the nigga like he ain't making clever. car bombs. Oh, that is valid. Worth that nigga did he will blow your car up, nigga. Right. <laughs> that blow your shit up. This nigga has military experience, clearly. Something going <laughs> Stay away. He has military Stay away. He has personnel. <laughs> Y'all not sniping this nigga. He got niggas on roofs everywhere, bro. that military bro. experience? Say, hey, something gotta go. Something gotta go. It's just time to stop doing business with this nigga. Yeah. I understand he has money, but like, at what cost? Is it worth <laughs> Is it worth? What what is it what, worth what, your anus, what man, exactly is the what, what is exactly worth, exactly is it worth your anus? Is it man? worth it? Is it worth sacrificing your sphincter? Oh my god! Is it worth it? You know, like Cat Williams said, I'm trying to keep this motherfucking version whole of mine. It's gonna stay. Ain't nothing going this motherfucker besides motherfucking Unreal. my washcloth, soap, water, toilet paper, and your thumb every now and then. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> he got him. He got him. He got him. That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Incorrect, but that was funny. I was gonna say farts. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's what I was gonna say, bro. That's good. Look out, niggas, man. What's wrong with y'all, niggas, uh, man? Uh, but yeah, man, that's a lot of, a lot of, lot of diving in deep. <laughs> I know Rob wanna dive in deep. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. No, no, the, the word. No. No. he's on, bro. That nigga's on. That nigga's on. 
Come the on, man. That nigga is old, man. So crazy, bro. Come on, bro. Man, God, man. Um, I think I just kind of wanted to talk about how as I've been getting older and older, I've kind of been starting to see a trend in everything that I've done and just how deep it is. Because I know there's this common phrase of, it's not that deep, bro. It's not that deep, bro. But everything we do is that deep. When it comes down to the people that you let in your life, your relationships, your family, all of those things, they mold your experiences and your perspective and your emotional well-being, the place you decide to work. It it all culminates into this big bottle of water that is you. Mm. And depending on what you put in it, motherfucker, mm. motherfucker gonna fall over. Mm. Can I add a little quote in there from the great Unc Shannon Sharp? Mm. He say, if you find yourself always having to be the bigger person, you are hanging around too many small people. Yep. And I, and I think that coincides with what you were saying, man. Definitely, definitely, definitely. There's so many quotes that match that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. Uh, it just it just really comes down to like you got to understand the depth of the connection that you make, and it it really just highlights your responsibility and, and your growth and taking accountability mm -hmm. for what you do. And it really just helps you become a better person at the end of the day, bro. And that's bars, mm -hmm. and then that's bars. Today we man that button is just on fire today yeah, man. man I ain't getting getting real good usage out of it man tonight today tonight yeah tonight is tonight time yeah, yeah it is it is it is, oh, it is man yeah for real I mean I said it before the past few weeks it's like I recommend get you a team of people that's on the same type of time and you on man I can understand that it's easier said than done but nah for real man because man I know a homie this may sound this may sound like I'm going to tangent but I'm really not I know a homie man he he was going through some stuff and he really. He really like went and put a piece of his heart out there, man. He it was something, going through something real. He actually said something to his homies. He thought they were his brothers, and what did they do? They laughed at this nigga. They mm. chuckled at this nigga, and then now they're trying to talk to him again and say, "Oh, <clears throat> say talk to him again and say, oh, I didn't mean it like that.' Whatever the case may be, essentially saying it's not that deep, you know. Mm. Oh, we didn't do it because that way. But really, you got to find some people that's there for you, mm. and like a lot of these little things. You know, you want to apply that discipline to the small things in life. And then when, you know, it comes to the big things, you have that sort of practice with it. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it can be that deep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I agree with that. Bars. Man. Bars. Man. Hmm. So these girls got cookies, nigga. Man. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we getting a little too positive. You know what I'm saying? We got to <laughs> break it down a little bit. Balance. It's all about balance. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And um, I took a little trip to my Walmart. You know, I used to work there. You know what I'm saying? So I know a lot of people in there. And I'm walking inside. You know, you got the girl for some reason. You know, it's getting a little warmer outside. You got the Girl Scout people outside. Mm -hmm. You know, for doing little fundraisers and shit. Walk inside, you know, they, oh, you have any money? Go ahead. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll get you when I get out because I have some cash on me. And I don't mind, you know, giving them some money. But when I was walking out, I heard a lady you know, the Girl Scouts, they call out to the lady. They say, Girl Scout cookies. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't have any cash. He's like, oh, it's okay. We have card. I know you fucking lie. <laughs> okay. These, these okay. motherfuckers try to do anything they can. Okay. Yeah. Off instinct, the first thing that came to my head, the girl, I'll kick the shit at you. <laughs> you asked me for my card? Because, like, I ain't gonna lie. When I heard it, I broke my neck. i like, what the hell? Card? Yeah. You telling me motherfucker got a card reader outside? Yeah. <laughs> motherfucker gets cold as hell, wind blowing. Yes. Damn near fucking set up about to fly away and shit. It's yeah. cold as hell. You motherfucker want to pull out a card reader? Yeah. You want me to stand outside, pull my card out? Hell no. Why not? That is sick. That man, is sick. That's good entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. I ain't mad at that because, you know, I'm a business man right. first. You but I'm just saying, as a card consumer, readers always come with tax. As a nigga, consumer, that. that's true. You know what? But as a consumer, God damn. A, <laughs> I just try to get in the damn store, try to get out. I mean, they're offering you a product, though. It's not like they, uh, that's fair. Like they just like, that's fair. Can I get but some, see, that's I get just some it, crack though. money? Man, you know how it is. That's the Girl Scouts, man. The Girl Scout cookies. They trying to guilt trip you into buying those but they motherfucking be good, though. Mints. It's a good product. I ain't never okay, had them. Look, I'm not them. saying that Girl Scout cookies don't be good. <laughs> they ain't that damn good, though, all right? I, I would definitely walk away from them motherfuckers. I can never agree with that. More time. times than not. Because when I gave him the money, I didn't even ask for cookies. I gave him like eight bucks. Oh, no. He's like, do you want any cookies? Me. I'm like, nah, I'm good. Like, 
No, no, you better man. He's a little man. He he. Had, oh, you're definitely better. Than he pulled. Me. He pulled my heartstrings. Y'all know I don't give away money. <laughs> Y'all know I don't give away money, but he pulled my heartstrings with that one. I give away money to homeless people. <laughs> Fuck that. I ain't doing that. Uh, I just well, gave some money to a homeless people, person today. Yeah, I ain't doing that. It Literally, depends, when I was it driving depends, bro. Some nigga was sitting out there. I, I genuinely do a full on analysis. On, I like y'all gonna think I'm weird, but I do a full on analysis on homeless folk for giving money, bro. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just saying, like, yeah, they might use money for crack, but so what? Yeah, so what? And but see, that's, that's, that's enabling, though. That exactly, and and, and I'm a man of integrity, <laughs> so like, I can't be doing that. So like, you know what? I'm gonna give them 25 cent first. Oh I'm gonna God. give them a quarter or something. If they if they real grateful for that, bro, <laughs> I might man. give them that dollar. But something like if you have if you've ever been to the city for real and you give a homeless man just 50 cents, sometimes a motherfucker be like, "All right, I know you got more than that. I know you got more than that." Yeah, that's uh -huh. crazy. That's trash. Oh, yeah. that that happens. You be you yeah. be very surprised. I, I, I mean, I'm sure it has. It yeah. has happened to me. So if they don't do one of them, I might sneak in and throw yeah. you another another dollar. Yeah, like. you see, you know what? With, with the homeless motherfuckers, I'm gonna go buy you some food if it's possible. Before I give you money, but I will just throw you some bread too. I don't get no fuck. You want to go? You want to go waste your life and go get some beer, man? Go ahead, go get you. A it beer is hard for me because y'all, you know, y'all got on my ass already. But I made that business plan for the homeless man. Mm -hmm. You ain't give us nobody. No, yet, nigga, stop. stop! Don't do me like you did the last time. <laughs> <laughs> try to make like a, you better try to make it seem like an asshole. I didn't know. Stop that. Oh but now it is like I don't know because I've I haven't been got by homeless people, but I've been gotten by like parents with their kids and shit. Like, oh, you told, you told me this. They like, because I remember I was going to a business seminar. Have I told this story before? No, I don't think not on the pod. I was going to a business seminar back when I was like 18, 19, you know what I'm saying? You know, young DJ trying to get his business up. And the, uh, my, I guess, uh, buddy that I was working with, he invited me out and, uh, he called me. He like, yo, you know, I see you're here. Just, you know, walk up to the, the hotel and, you know, come to the seminar and we all good. I had, I had to get, I had to pay $20 to get in. So it's in like it's not like Chicago, Chicago, but it's like we getting real, real close. Right, outskirts. Yeah, right. and um, you know, I'm walking in, I'm walking the streets, and I'm walking in, and his mom and her daughter they stop me, black. So yeah, I'm like, oh shit, um, I'm scared though, cause you know, I'm, you know, I ain't in no familiar territories. So I'm like, damn, <laughs> some shit might go down right now. But mm -hmm. um, she's like, oh, like, do you have any money? Like, you know, she said she she lost her job or some shit. Start crying. Her daughter starts crying. I'm just like, damn. Yeah, they, if this is an act. They doing nasty. very well. <laughs> but um, nasty. you know, I just like, damn, bro. Like, here's my twenty. You know what I'm saying? And I call my instructor, and he like, yo, like, I see you here. Um, he's like, where you at? I'm like, oh shit, I'm I'm like right right outside, but I don't got no money. He's like, didn't you bring money to get in? I'm like, yeah, I did, but my dumb ass gave it to some you know uh, person on the side of the street. He's like, oh, I'm like, it's not really like me type of shit. And he was like, oh, man, don't even worry about it. That was a good thing. Like, good job for that. But I don't know. For me, it's just hard. Like, for mm -hmm. the homeless shit. It's because it's a choice. I believe it's a choice. Not always. Uh, it's not always. Not always. So, okay. We, I think it is, though. Because we talk about all the time how, you know, you can't give up. Mm -hmm. Right? They, they might not give enough. So what know. are they doing? Well, right now, they got to pay for some money right now. Mm-hmm. They ain't got nothing right to now. To do what? With the money? They might. They they could actually go get some food with it just to hold them on while they, so they can live the next day to go, go to that job interview, whatever case may be. Can, may be. They also could be in search for their next little eight ball of crack. Mm. <laughs> but true. you know, you don't, but you don't know that they're going to, you don't necessarily know that they're going to valid. The so I guess you could say you I'm know. having a pessimistic look on it. So but they could be actually using it for like, you know, some actual good things. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's so many different, there's so many different situations yeah, and yeah. scenarios. You know, we got veterans with PTSD that yeah. can't work. Yeah. And now they can't live because they're not getting supported. Ooh, that we should got, disgust the hell out of me. people with mental illness. These niggas out here, you know, making popcorn noises and shit, playing with pencils and shit. They can't get no job. They make no money. They don't got no people to help them. Should be fucked up, man. These descriptions. Yeah, I knew some special people like that. I knew some bads like that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. They be playing with pencils and shit it on everything. Like, it this is like... one chick named Don Yell when I was in, when I was in Creekside. She uh, was in Okay. School. See, now we not doing this because this is off crazy. topic, bro. <laughs> because <laughs> not topic. Y'all bringing, y'all bringing this. <laughs> y'all don't brought it from homelessness <laughs> to goddamn special ed students. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I knew something crazy was to come out there about me. He said the name. I was like, nah. Like, nah. <laughs> that used to piss me off, too, if I'm being honest. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just being honest. See, I mean, nah, look, he's taking it too I far. was a little kid, bro. <laughs> I there, was like, it's just like, can I borrow your pencil? Can I borrow your pencil? The motherfucker, I'm using it. 
sorry. Like, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, y'all make me fear the fucking burning gates, man. Just, oh listen, my I'm God. just being honest. I'm just being real. Like, motherfucker, no, you cannot have my pencil. Oh, yeah. I let's see it one time. I let's see it one time. Probably not on that motherfucker. <laughs> okay. But you see, y'all can't sorry, sorry. <laughs> But I watched it. That, that, was, that was a truce of thought. That was a of thought. <laughs> niggas always take it a step too far. You can't get <laughs> niggas ahead. They take a mile. <laughs> I always think it's funny when, so you can tell when people aren't, haven't been around too many special motherfuckers. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. they're like, is something wrong with this? Yeah, something right. They start yeah. getting real quiet and whispering and shit. Well, I was like, uh, is he okay? He's like, clearly like, slow. You said, well, like, said, well, no, but yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. No, but yes. Uh, he good, but he good. You know what I'm saying? That's how they do you at the family oh, reunion. God. When you go to the family reunion, you mm-hmm. see that, you know, that little cousin or some shit. Or you know, that screws, nephew. Couple screws loose. Yeah, you know. I like, Mo, Mo, what's wrong with him? Oh, shit. He, he all right. <laughs> he all right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, maybe, maybe you don't want to yield though. You know, they don't, they, they try to be nice. Yeah, they try to be, be nice. nice. So they don't want to say, you know, oh, he just slow as hell. Like, he's always there. All that boy touched. Yeah, he, he, he you know, God touched. bless his heart. God bless his heart. You know, he all right, but he ain't all right, dude. You know? <laughs> he has some moments, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, that's that's real. That's real right now, shit. <laughs> man, but no. I got a hot take for y'all niggas. Oh, man. Lord have mercy. Got a hot take, man. Oh, you know, we all being this motherfucker driving. And mm-hmm. Whatever the case may be, some of y'all don't got no license. Y'all need to go and get your shit up, man. <laughs> Come on, dog. You walking everywhere still? <laughs> Come on, nigga. They saving yeah. money. Shit. Ooh, man. Nah. And burning nah. calories. No, nah, they're not saving money, really, because they could be getting to their destination faster to make more money. Right. Bars. Bars. Get more time to play in their butt. You right. Uh, they didn't have to go that route. <laughs> He'd be talking about his daily activities. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about daily activity. <laughs> He's talking about insane. <laughs> insane. Uh, yeah. uh, but yeah, I got a hot take, man. You know, we all be driving things of that nature. But I, I, I just, I've just come to a conclusion, and, and, and I'm going to speak nothing but straight facts right now, oh, man. man. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm just being honest with y'all right now, man. If if you don't text and drive, I don't trust you driving. <laughs> what? Whoa. Where is your multitask feature at? You ain't got that update. You know, it's 2024. We be mm-hmm. texting and driving successfully out here, man. Hey, you need wrong. to go ahead and do that. Where you, we sometimes on the road, on the road, you're gonna have to, you know, focus on multiple things at a certain time. You may someone might be on some bullshit. You gotta be ready. Jeez. You got to be ready. So, actually, I'll go as far to say as if you're teaching your kids how to drive, make that part of one of their lessons. Not one of their first lessons. Maybe like, maybe after like, I don't know, once they drive about yeah. 200 miles or so. Yeah, or they seasoned. Two hours, maybe 10 hours of driving. Be like, now we next step. One arm. Now, next, one arm, phone in hand, phone calls. Then, one hand on the wheel, texting. You know what I'm saying? Levels to this. And if, you, if you're able to do <laughs> that, crazy. if you're able to do that, I think you can really become a, a very safe driver, actually. Mm-hmm. It teaches you got to keep looking up and down, up and uh-huh. down, up and down. I text and drive all the time. Or I'll be in the car with me. We ain't died yet. We good. It's very, very true. We are here. Keyword yet. You we know are here. what? I've, had, I've never been in an accident that's, 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 that's my, at my fault. I don't want to have to manifest argue. that, but I'm just saying. I can't, like, I can't argue. The, I can't even argue with him because... I can't. I can't argue because there's really smart texting and driving, bro. If like, you are one of those niggas that has to look down at your phone for five seconds to type a message, yeah, no, you trash. Skill, you skill issues. Just, skill exactly. Issue. Skill, skill issues. Issue. Skill, skill issue. You didn't get the patch, bro. But That's see, it. Right now, back. this is where I'm agreeing with y'all right now. Okay. At the moment. Okay. But y'all got on my ass for how I type. What? How do you type? Slide. <sighs> That's just slide typing would be. Easier. You no. might as well sit down and pee while you're at it. That doesn't even I mean, make sense. You, you like, need to die, Samash. <laughs> like you need to die, nigga. That was ridiculous. Nigga, stop cheating and text like everybody else. Cheating. Nigga. Stop cutting. How's that cheating? Sometimes you don't get no, the actual where you're looking cheating. for. Cheating. I just think you're a, oh, no. you're weird. Yeah, I, I think you're a weird guy for sure. So man, that's a skill issue for y'all. No, no, no. Y'all can't no, no, pull no, no, it off. No, no. Okay, I can, I can actually, you know what? It. I'll concur. I actually don't know how to do slides. I don't understand. Oh, it. it's super easy. It's I, can, easy. I never really take it's it the time stupid. to like. I don't really know. It's very stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. I, I just type that motherfucker faster. Like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, what am, right, I, you what do, am I doing this for? I got to hover over the letter <laughs> to make sure I get it. Like, right. Nah. Get out of here, Yo, bro. Crazy. There's extra it steps on that. It don't, even, it don't even be all that. It don't even be all that. <laughs> it don't even be all that, <laughs> And sometimes you try to slide to the space, and it don't space. and just be one word. I don't like that shit, the bro. Space, mm-hmm. The space Especially comes after you finish the when slide. When I had autocorrect, bro, I didn't have to look at all to text. For real. I just knew where it was at, but now I don't got auto. Oh, you certified, certified. I don't yeah. use auto correct anymore though, so like I be mistyping. Yeah, 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 your <laughs> shit on on baby knees. Right. <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> no, stop it. Nah, I mean for me, like when I slide, it's a lot easier. Like I don't even have to like think about how what it's like so spells like. Satis- but it's, satis- it's it is satisfactory. It's hard to loaf. Yeah, it is satisfying to just hear the tapping. You know, which we we Not actually can text fast. Not for me. Oh, bro. Not for me. Yeah, I hate fast. the tapping shit. Like, yeah, I hate crazy. the tapping shit. But you, you hear know that. What? You hear that. But you know what? My phone, I be having my ringer off. I do most of the time, too. I'll be hearing the tapping. Every once in a while, when I have the ringer on, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. Uh, it do, nice it do scratch it. my brain in a certain way. See, like, if you could type fast. You know but you know, you ask me over there, DJ. Yeah, you type like, oh, man. <laughs> Where is this evidence coming from? <laughs> 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 man, we seen, we seen you in your yeah, apartment we seen type. that nigga type. That nigga can't type. I don't even recall that. That nigga can't type. Yo, that's out of here, boy. I got it, nigga. Y'all about to see. Typing like Y'all about to see. What? When we get the crib, y'all about, I'm about to be on that computer. Like, oh, mm-hmm. he's gonna be he's gonna be practicing. Oh, uh, you've been improving. You've been improving. You've been improving. Improve it. You hear him? Look them up. Nigga, you said to me before that you came. <laughs> uh, what's up with you lying to the people recently? What you mean? Because you lied that you ain't cop nothing off Timu before, too. You know damn well you did. No, you I said not Timu chains on the show. I actually. Nigga, I literally mm-hmm. said not since that first purchase. I didn't cop anything else because I bought that little chain and then the shit started rusting. Because I did the first purchase because I had the damn link. From Lando ass. Mm. See, I got free four items. Or four free items. Damn it. So, I bought one thing, and it got four other things with it. That's the only reason I bought that shit. Still a broke-ass nigga. Um, facts. Um, okay. That's the chatter. This is finance-friendly, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it ain't finance-friendly. That's not smart, though, because you know China over there fucking with your shit, man. I guess they well, yeah, already I ain't buy nothing. I ain't buy no jetpack. You, you don't gotta niggas. buy nothing. You don't gotta buy no jetpack. You already on it. I bought a surge protector. Nah, I will say this. They already got our fucking, shit. So right, fuck I'm about to say niggas on TikTok though. They just paid. They I just guess. paid half the niggas in their sweatshop with your card, DJ. I'm just saying right now. <laughs> yeah, nah. It was eleven dollars. I, I still haven't got got. And I slave. bought a surge protector. Nigga, go to Walmart. Oh, yeah, shit. Go. Very true. Why? Why? If it's gonna be cheaper for I can get it from them. Well, if it's gonna take seventeen days to get there, it didn't oh, take seventeen uh, days to get there. Oh my bad, it took fourteen. Seven. Get your ass out of here. It was within a week. Okay, drive your ass up to Walmart. You can get it. And right within an hour. Finance about friendly, friendly goddammit. What are we talking about? Come on, you want to buy that surface projector for two dollars? Buy that motherfucker. Goddammit. Just get you a bust down Cuban link for two dollars. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't advising that. <laughs> I ain't advising that shit. Damn. <laughs> Weird ass niggas. Uh, yeah, man. We can move on though, man. We can move oh, on. Man. Oh, Rob got some wisdom for us, man. Yeah, man. Um, you know, as I live in this world, you know, I need to stop talking like a philosopher all the fucking time. No, you are Rob the my philosopher. Bad. My bad. My bad. I mean, you know, as I as I live in this world, I just I just continue to grow and, and see so many different things happen and go through my own experiences of trying to force things into place, you know, uh, the analogy of trying to force the square in the circle. Oh man. And, uh, I just want everybody to know not everything is worth fixing, man. You got to move on. Cause the only reason, the only reason people take you for granted is because they've always had you available, always have you available. You need to prove them wrong. No more second chances for the people that have had all access and abused it. Absence is power. You need to be asking in their life so they can see what they have been missing. There are better people out here waiting for their first chance. And I just think shit, niggas needed to hear that, man. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So like, you're talking about like mm-hmm. instance. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be just with this, though, but with relationships mm-hmm. in general. If someone does you wrong or whatever, betrays your trust, whatever the case may be. You said they're trying to fix the situation, whatever the case may be, but like they're taking you for granted mm-hmm. all the time. Oh, okay, yeah, I see that. Well, it, you not know, everything. Not everything's worth fixing, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. the thing that's you know you don't know what you got till it's gone. Fit right in with that. Uh-huh. You know what I'm really, bro. Brothers, People got to lose you to see what they had with you. And brothers, back to my. I'm gonna hit you with another one. Tuck a cape and rock a robe. Show these hoes pain. Hey. That's bars. That was bars. <laughs> that was crazy. Wait, wear the robe. Show these hoes pain. Yes. The pain wears the robe and Naruto. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. as a bar, Tuck man. Tuck your cape and rock and <laughs> roll. Show these hoes no pain. pain. That's bars, man. This world shall no pain. Come on, man. You, man. <laughs> we can't show. <laughs> Stop that. Hold on. Hold on. Stop that. Stop, Stop that. that. Stop that. Hold on. But leave the hoes alone, man. Leave the, leave the hoes alone. Man, leave them alone. The hoes ain't what they used to be. Nah, yeah. man, the hoes, they not fun, man. You need some consistency in your life, ask, man. Ask. You know what's crazy? All these niggas, y'all be, y'all be trying to fuck with all these hoes, man. Every time you done had you a nice little girl, you've been changing your life around. You start washing your ass, start doing yeah. your laundry. Right, you got start two washcloths. Sure start making sure your room was clean and shit, getting your hair cut every Fast. two weeks. Stop fucking with these hoes, man. Finally change your sheets. Other shit, hoes, they don't, they don't, they don't give a damn. Wait, so that be, you. you made the change? Huh? I mean, you make change, right? You only have one washcloth. No, 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 no. I was just talking. Don't do me like that. I was, no, no, just, no, no, I was just speaking. I was, I was just asking. Truth, I, I, I didn't say. I didn't oh, declare. Yeah, I did two washcloths. Oh, yeah. okay. yeah. Just two washcloths, man. I just, I just put somebody on at my job. Well, I didn't put them on, but we had to put them, uh, one of our homies on with, with washcloths, man, or loofahs. Mm. Yeah, loofahs. Well, he was just using his hands. Yeah, yeah. Mm. a lot of people just use their hand. Mm-hmm. A lot of people silicone scrubber. That's just yeah. I got two of them. That's just that's just crazy to me. I'm sorry. I mean, I. We can just talk about that later on, I guess, man. Let's let's, let's get a finance friendly on them. Oh man! <laughs> so recently, Niggas dirty. if y'all know about you know um, sports a little bit, but uh, what's his name? I want to say Adrian Peterson. Pretty sure it's Adrian Peterson. He got into a lot of debt. Um, he threw a huge thirty uh, thirty year old birthday party, and he invited over four hundred people. Jesus. Put them on first class flights. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Um, putting them in five star hotels, all for this grand birthday party. He had some camels. <laughs> yeah, he had some crazy <laughs> edibles and shit. Um, and those people were staying in hotels, all of that, the whole nine. Paying for all the hotels? Too? Yeah, he paid for all of them. Oh, the bars too? Yep. Whew. So, Say, why club, m- um, not club, uh, food, all of that. Oh, I should Now, he pulled out. A very large uh, loan for said party. Mm. Party happens, you know, it moves on. Years go by. That was this happened, I think, three years ago, and now they're trying to take everything that he has because he has not paid the loans. Mm. Now apparently he was trying to pay the loans, but he failed to do so. So they're trying to take mm. all you know his his rings from you know his college days and all that kind of stuff. All this to say this. A lot of y'all are spending your money frivolously Ooh. to try to impress other people. Ooh. That mm. party was not for him. No, it was not. That nigga is not Gatsby. Thank you. Wait, it was Reggie Bush. I'm tweaking. I'm sorry. Okay. It was Reggie Bush. Golly, I'm Reginald. sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Adrian. Always niggas Reggie. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was Reggie Bush. But um, that money wasn't for Reggie. That party wasn't for Reggie Bush. Mm. That party was for all those individuals that he invited out. They're the ones that haven't seen money like that. They're the ones that haven't seen camels and seen, you know, five-star hotels Jeez. and goddamn first-class flights. That wasn't for him. Why Why would he spend all of that money to make them have fun mm. for his birthday party? Mm. Now, when I say this, now we can put this on a smaller scale. Take people who, you know, shorties that want these Fendi bags and motherfuckers. Niggas that want Hellcats. Sorry. Right. Hellcats, Dolce, Combina no, shoes. No, no, Shorty, no, you work at McDonald's. Hellcats. They definitely niggas. Yeah. You're making about $16 to $17 an hour. Oh, 16 Stop trying to live above your means. Come on. You can't afford that. So now it becomes the, it becomes the question, who are you buying it for? Because it can't be for yourself. Now, I already know if people, people that know me closely, well, DJ, you buy Jordans. And, you know, you buy jerseys and shit. Yeah, you do buy Jordans and buy jerseys, nigga. You Slow down. Mm. See, one mm. thing about DJ, everything is calculated, right? Mm. Mm. I bought five pairs of shoes last year, all Jordan 5s. Mm-hmm. I paid retail for one of them. And that was on my birthday as my birthday present. Every other one I got for more than half off. Why? For one. Shout out some kids. Huh? My fault. I don't, my size is not kids. My fault. You're little. I thought you shut up. Well, your wiener's little, bitch. My fault. Um, That's gay. Come on. How? Him saying that his wiener's little? I mean, he might have, like, found out on accident. No. Stop it. No. <laughs> That's pure <laughs> speculation about wiener size. Either way, jackass. Um, What's it called? I buy, I buy my stuff for under retail, okay? 
And I don't buy it to impress others. People hate fives. People think fives are disgusting. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy that you guys hate fives. Why? Because when it comes out, the value's low. Market value is dog shit. It works out for me because I can get it for cheap. Now, these motherfuckers, y'all want to buy these Dolce & Gabbana shoes and a man need to do all this and that for this bullshit. Y'all just trying to impress motherfuckers. And that's why y'all broke. Y'all live rich rapper lap, rapper lifestyles. You don't make rich rapper money. Yeah. And a lot of those rappers do, after they stop rapping, go broke as hell. They do. It's just things that we talk about all the time. I, I, I just started reading this book. I read like three words. But I got it today. So give me some like, give me, three me some words slack. Is crazy. Three words is crazy though. But like, I, didn't, I didn't have time. Give me a sentence? Not even a full sentence. It might be like five Three words, words could be a sentence. Okay. It's a long okay. sentence to start off. What? It's a long five? sentence. And you only read three of the words. Like five words. Besides even... the point, man. I I I I wasn't I wasn't supposed to open the book. I just I just opened it up real quick. Okay. Uh, anyways, probably like seven words. Anyways, <laughs> it's called the Millionaire Next Door. Yep. Mm. Great. You've book. heard of it. Yep. You read it. Yes. Right. Most these dudes look normal as hell. Yeah, man. Collar shirts. Yeah, man. Blue jeans, hanging out at Home Depot. Got yeah, you. man. You know what I'm saying? Testing out the toilets. Just sitting down. Yeah, see, man. They sturdy enough. Okay, let's see. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what they're doing. So I mean, yeah, we don't wear these motherfucking whatever. Like it just it just really irks me how what links people go to look like they got money. Mm -hmm. yeah, Even though bro. like we know you broke though. Yes. Nigga, we, yeah. we we yes. we know you're broke. Mm -hmm. Especially when yeah, you, you work alongside them. Yeah, nigga. You, live you work you alongside work them. These motherfuckers drive a car with a five hundred dollar car note. Nigga, you make the same amount as me. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna try to sit here and wear Gucci shoes and shit, I know you're struggling. Mm. Because there's no way in hell you have extra money. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I laugh at the niggas who drive them big ass Camaros and shit. Because nigga, I know you can't buy shit else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we going out to the dollar store, that's and your ass can't pull your car out. That's another chapter in the motherfucking book. You're not what you drive. Yeah, you, you got all these rich motherfuckers driving what? Toyota Camrys. Yep. Le's. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Three hundred thousand yeah, miles. You know. Motherfucker last four years. But we out of time. We out of time, but you know we got 15 more minutes coming up. Appreciate y'all for sliding Thank through. You. Thank you. Thank you. No diggity, no. Getting that page on three dollars. Spare change. Spare change. I